Hey, Donovan here from Drow Digital. And today I've got a really, really quick video that's going to basically go through where most martial arts schools go wrong when it comes to getting members through the door. I see the same mistakes every, more or less every school that we work with are making the same mistakes when it comes to advertising. Now, you're only really going to want to watch this if you're having problems in the sense of, I don't know, you're messaging leads and they aren't replying. When you have conversations with leads, they don't turn up. You can't even get through to your leads. You're getting, not, maybe you're not even getting enough leads in the first place. Like, there's a lot of problems martial arts schools have, and I think they happen because they don't understand how acquiring members works good enough. So today I'm going to go through that and how we see member acquisition systems and how easily we see it. So hopefully looking through this and by understanding this, you're going to get better results when it comes to you know your advertising. Even if understanding this better just leads to you getting one more member next time you're advertising or two more members than you would have. If you didn't know this, you know it's still profitable. It, it, it still makes me happy that I'm helping you. So as I said, if you're struggling to you know get your leads to reply, you're struggling to get leads. You know you're struggling to understand how how people run Facebook ads, how people manage to get an abundance of leads that equals members, then this this video is definitely for you. So I want to make martial arts member acquisition easy i want to make it really really easy for you um, and i'm just going to get rid of that because this isn't a video to sell you anything this is just a video to help you out so this is how we see advertising so when it comes to well not advertising but getting people to go from a complete stranger to a full paying member which is what acquiring members is we want to take people on the straightest line possible from being a stranger over to being a full paying member. So that's what we want to do. We want to take people from a stranger to being a full paying member. That's obvious. That's what we want to do. Now, what that's actually made up of, if you can see here, is we want to take people from being a stranger over to being a lead. We want to take them from being a lead over to actually having a conversation with them. I talk to so many martial arts schools who say that just having a conversation with their leads in the first place is very difficult for them. So that's an issue and that's a checkpoint on its own that's a point we need to get to so a lot of people just say oh i want to take someone from being a stranger to you know booking them in i want to i want to i want to get find people and book them in but you're missing all these points and there's little steps that you need to go through to hit these eat these checkpoints and if you overlook them then you're never going to get from this point over to this point so as i said we want to take it from a stranger to a lead we want to take it from a lead to actually having a conversation with them if you never have a conversation with them there was no point in them really becoming a lead in the first place in fact it was probably a waste of time for you then we want to take them from a conversation over to actually being booked in for a class then we want to get them to actually turn up at the door there's little things that we do little steps that we do to get them to turn up at the door and then of course when they've come through the door we can then try and turn them into a full paying member if they never get to the door, they can never become a full pay member. If we never actually manage to book them in, they're never gonna to get to the door. And if we never have a conversation with them, they're never gonna get booked in. And if they never actually become a lead, then we are never gonna be able to have a conversation with them and pass them on. So each one of these steps is as important as the other. Um, a lot of people only focus on this part here. Now, one big myth that I see when I talk to martial arts schools is they say, I just need a lower cost per lead. I just need to get more leads on Facebook or, or all these different things. And it's simply not true. And it, it, it could be true if you've got all these other things in place and an easy system that makes it so when you do get leads, they turn into conversations. Those conversations turn into bookings. Those bookings turn into door. People turn up at the door. And those people turn up at the door, turn up into members. And you're just not getting enough leads at the front end, then maybe, you know, bringing your Facebook lead cost down or investing a little bit more is your issue. But for 99% of schools and martial arts schools that I, that I speak to, that isn't their issue. Their issue is they don't have any sort of system in place or just don't understand how it works good enough to be able to get people to actually become full paying members. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to break this down a little bit. So what we want to do is we want to take someone from a stranger to a lead at first. And there's a few different ways that we can do this. So we can use Facebook ad campaigns. We can use Google campaigns. Think of other ways that you can get leads that are a little bit more out of the box. For example, we've got referral schemes that you could run. Um, could you maybe message some of your old members? On top of that, there's, there's even even going out and giving people your phone number, whatever it is, there's loads of different ways that we can turn people into leads in the first way, you know, first place. There's a few things that we focus on personally as an agency. We focus on Facebook ads. We also focus on, you know, um, we, we set up some referral things and we've got a few different ways that we turn people into leads. But, you know, realistically, you just need one of one good way of getting leads. 
and you know you've pretty much sorted this this one out so if you can figure out facebook ads google ads whatever it is if you can get like leads in abundance you know you've solved this part so just getting more leads and not having the rest of this isn't going to fix your problem if you've solved this part then you need to focus on how to do the rest of this so now that we've got leads, we've got leads in abundance, you know, it's easy for us to get leads. The next part of the system that we want to do is we want to find a way to actually conversate with these leads. So I know what you're thinking. You might be thinking, well, can I send them to a web page or can I do this? Can I do that? If you can find a way for that to work, then, then brilliant. I guess you won't need to conversate with them. But in 95% of cases, we see conversating with leads actually gets better results than just sending people to a web page. So I recommend lead ads and I recommend actually trying to have conversations with these leads. Um, so to do that, you can phone them, you can text them. I won't really recommend emails. Emails have a low open rate. And if you can automate this, then you get bonus points. And I, you can't automate, well, you can automate the conversation stage using AI in, in a way. Um, but realistically, this, this part you can automate. So the actual following up with the leads, you can use automated systems to continuously follow up with the leads until you get a reply. Now, there's something called the rule of seven. And I'm going to put this here, rule of seven. And that's something that a lot of people overlook, but it is incredibly, incredibly important. Now, the rule of seven says that it takes on average seven touch points before, you know, someone will respond to you. So what that means is for some people, it will take more than seven. Some people, it will take less than seven. But on average, it takes seven touch points to get a reply from someone. So with that in mind, if you're only contacting people two times, that's simply not enough. If you're only contacting people three times, that's simply not enough. We need to be finding a way to contact people more. And I'm not blind to the fact that if you get a lot of leads coming through and you're trying to do all of this manually, you're not going to be able to do that. So you either need to be getting the right amount of leads through so that you can go overboard on following up manually, or you need to find an automated system in place that, 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 that can do that for you. Um, so yeah, that, that, that can continue following up with people until you do get a reply. Cool. Then we get to the conversation stage. So we actually get to the point where we're actually having a conversation with people. Cool. That's what we, we want to do. The more conversations we can have, I'm going to equal more bookings. So the more people we've got to this stage, we're doing a good job. What a lot of people do is they run Facebook ads, they don't put effort into following up with the leads, and they get like one or two conversations, you know, and then out of those one or two, maybe one will turn up. And it's just not, it's not worth your time, is it? So we need to be putting the effort in to get people to the conversation stage and having a conversation with them. Now, what we want to do is we want to get as many people as possible to the conversation stage. So we haven't possibly, we can't possibly have long conversations with all of these people unless it's over the phone. So if you're willing to phone these people and you're getting loads of people into conversations on the phone, which that, that, that's a good way to get people because it adds that personal touch. But if you're doing this over text message, then there's only a few questions that I recommend you ask it. And those questions are, how old is your child if it's a child's class? Which day works best for you? And give them two options to pick. You don't want to give them loads and loads and loads of options. Just give them two options. Don't overwhelm them with information. Don't give them information overwhelm. And then the third question that we need to know is what is your child's name? And then we can go ahead and book them in. So if it's over text, those are the three questions I recommend. If you're on the phone, then of course you can maybe ask, I don't know, has he ever done martial arts before? What's the reason that you want to do it? And, you know, really get to know them a little bit more because you can do that quicker on the phone. But if you do that over text message, I promise you, you're going to have a lot of people who just stop replying. So if you're doing it over text message, please just try and stick to these three questions and then you'll get a lot more people booked in. If you're doing it over the phone, then ask these three questions and then maybe ask why it is that they want to do martial arts and understand their pain point a little bit more. And then... We've smashed it. We've got them to the booked in stage. Now all that's left is we want to get them to the front door and then get them to be, be a full paying member. So when someone's booked in, there's a few things that we do. So first thing we do is we send a confirmation. So we send a confirmation that lets them know you have been booked in for this time at this location on this day. Very, very, very important. So if you're having a phone call with someone, just say to them, hey, I'm just going to send you over the confirmation now and then send them over a message and confirm that they have been booked in. Now, the other things that we want to do is we want to send reminders. So we send three reminders, one two days before, one day before, and like four hours before. And that's composed of text messages and voicemails. Now, if you want to go, you know, take the extra step and try and get the high shot rate you possibly get, what I'd also recommend is phoning people, phoning your leads, like the day before the class, and just asking them, do you have any questions before I see you tomorrow? And then 
if they say no, we don't have any questions, then you've had that personal touch point and that just reminds them that you are expecting to see them. Sometimes when all of this is automated, it loses the personal touch. The more personal touches that you have along the way, the better chance you'll have of having people show up. Um, but then obviously if the whole thing's just personal and none of it's automated, it's gonna make it difficult for you to get volume through the system. So you need to make you know, a balance of them both. And then finally, we've got them to the door. So now we want to turn them into a full paying member. You probably know how to do that. Most martial arts schools that I speak to say their issue is they can't get enough people to the door. Once people are at the door, they have no problem turning people into men members. Now that's not always the case. So don't be blind if, if you're struggling with sales, you know, to fix that issue. There's no point getting loads of people to the door. I've had people in the past where they've got like 20, 25 people to the door and not a single one has has, has signed up. You know, you need to fix your sales issue is, if sales is a problem. But the main things that we say people need to do is you want to greet people at the door as soon as you see them. Don't leave them standing around, you know, confused and, and feeling lost and feeling like it's not a comfortable place to be. Actually give a fuck. Like I've wrote that there, like actually care. Like people can tell when you actually care. So actually you know, care <laughs> about, you know, their, their child, care about them, like the, the progress that they're going to get. Find out their why, very, very important. Find out why exactly it is that they want to do martial arts, what, the, what are the benefits they want to get. Find that out before the class. Give an amazing class. Uh, another point that one of my clients who's absolutely smashing it said was, you know, be really personable. So like say their name throughout the class. So throughout the class, say their name like three times. So that's a very, very nice jab, John. Um, you, you, the way you hit that was, was really good, John. If you just dip a little more, you know, you'll be able to generate the power better. Good work, John. Like, look, say their name and make them feel like they're actually important. You might be feel like they're important. At the end, they're probably going to want to actually sign up because they'll feel like they're an important part of the club. Um, and overall, just make them feel comfortable. Now, obviously, there's a lot more that you can go into there. You know, it's not as simple as that, but I want to just give you a, the baseline understanding of how we see acquisition systems um, and then circle back, obviously, and ask for the sign up. Now, obviously, there's a bit more depth than that can, that, that can be gone into. And we build out systems like this for our clients, our martial arts school clients. Um, but I wanted to give you an understanding of how the system actually works to us. So if you want to go ahead and try and do it yourself, or you want to try and do it manually, or you want to try and add a little automation, you've got some idea of automation tools that you can throw in there to use. I want you to understand how I see it so you can go away and do that and smash it yourself. But that is you know, how we see acquisition systems. That's where I think martial arts school owners go wrong. I think they don't understand the system as a whole, which means all they do is focus on the Facebook ad side of things, which means they leave out all of this. That's simply not good enough. You need to be doing the entire system in some way, whether or not that's systemized, whether or not that's manual because you're only a small club, that is absolutely fine, but you need to have this system in place. So I hope that makes sense. Uh, two things before you go. Number one, in the description of this video, there's a little link. If you click it, it will go through and tell you, you know, how you can add more members to your martial arts school. Click it or not, it's completely up to you. And then the final thing is, I just want to say, I do really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. I hope you found some sort of benefit from it. And if you have, you know, you, you've learned a thing or two from here, then I would really appreciate it if you shared it with another martial arts school owner who you think would benefit from this video and maybe even leave a like too. But my name's Donovan from Drove Digital Marketing. We help martial arts schools grow. We help them add 50 to 100 members to their school. And I hope you have a nice day.